scientists say they may have found a skinny gene. We all know the type. They can eat all they want, spend zero time at the gym, and don't put on an ounce. Now, according to new preliminary research published Thursday in the journal Cell, scientists may have discovered the gene that helps these super skinny individuals stay so slim, potentially opening up a new frontier in treatments to tackle obesity. An international team of scientists said they have identified a genetic variant unique to thin individuals in what's known as the OC gene. The OC gene makes a protein called anaplastic lymphoma kinase, which is involved in cell growth. They pinpointed the variant after looking at DNA samples and clinical data of more than 47,000 healthy people in Estonia between the ages of 20 and 44. The Estonia Biobank is very unique in its detail, said senior author Joseph Penninger, a professor in the Department of Medical Genetics and the director of the Life Sciences Institute at the University of British Columbia. We looked at the genetic maps of people with a BMI body mass index below 18 and compared them with those of people of normal weight and found the genetic variant that correlated with being super skinny, Penninger said. The team then examined how the OC gene functions in mice and flies. Stephen O'Rahilly, professor and head of the Department of Clinical Biochemistry and the director of the Metabolic Diseases Unit at the University of Cambridge, said the research was not definitive but very interesting. O'Rahilly, who wasn't involved in the study, added that it certainly increases interest in ALK7 inhibition as a therapeutic strategy for the treatment of obesity. Thinner flies and mice scientists already know that a mutated form of the OC gene and protein can drive the development of cancer tumors, the study said. Mutated forms of the gene and protein have been found in non-small cell lung cancer, anaplastic large cell lymphoma and neuroblastoma, a brain cancer. This new finding suggested a different mutation of the gene may play a role in thinness and resistance to gaining weight. To test this, the scientists conducted experiments on flies and mice and found that deleting this gene resulted in thinner versions of those flies and mice. We gave the mice what amounted to a McDonald's diet. The normal mice got obese and the ones without OC remain skinny, Penninger said. The team's mouse studies also suggested that the OC gene instructs fat tissues to burn more fat from food. O'Rahilly described the animal studies as well done, but noted that the genetic variation that was associated with lower body mass index in the Estonia biobank was modest and not as robust as many experts in the field would accept as definitive. However, he said that previous studies in much larger populations have shown a suggestive, but not strong, signal of an association with body weight in that area of the genome, and it was unlikely that the variation would be unique to Estonians. Penninger said that treatments targeting the gene might help scientists fight obesity in the future. If you think about it, it's realistic that we could shut down OC and reduce OC function to C if we did stay skinny, Penninger said. OC inhibitors are used in cancer treatments already. It's targetable. We could possibly inhibit OC, and we actually will try to do this in the future. According to the old rule of thumb, you're supposed to drink eight glasses of water per day, and some experts recommend even more. That can seem like a daunting task on some days, but here's the catch, you don't have to drink all that water. Roughly 20% of our daily H2O intake comes from solid foods, especially fruits and vegetables. It's still important to drink plenty of water, especially in the summertime, but you can also quench your thirst with these 15 hugely hydrating foods, all of which are at least 90% water by weight. Cucumber water content, 96.7% this summer veggie which is the highest water content of any solid food, is perfect in salads or sliced up and served with some hummus, says Kiri Gans, author of The Small Change Diet, 10 Steps to a Thinner and Healthier You and a consultant to Mindbloom, a technology company that makes life improvement apps. Want to pump up cucumbers hydrating power even more? Try blending it with non-fat yogurt, mint, and ice cubes to make cucumber soup. Health.com, the best foods for every vitamin and mineral. Iceberg lettuce water content, 95.6% iceberg lettuce tends to get a bad rap, nutrition-wise. Health experts often recommend shunning it in favor of darker greens like spinach or romaine lettuce, which contain higher amounts of fiber and nutrients such as folate and vitamin K. It's a different story when it comes to water content, though, crispy iceberg has the highest of any lettuce, followed by butterhead, green leaf and romaine varieties. So when the temperature rises, pile iceberg onto sandwiches or use it as a bed for a healthy chicken salad. Even better, ditch the tortillas and hamburger buns and use iceberg leaves as a wrap for tacos and burgers.
celery water content, 95.4% that urban legend about celery, having negative calories isn't quite true, but it's pretty close. Like all foods that are high in water, celery has very few calories, just 6 calories per stalk. And its one-two punch of fiber and water helps fill you up and curb your appetite. This lightweight veggie isn't short on nutrition, however. Celery contains folate and vitamins A, C and K. And thanks in part to its high water content, celery neutralizes stomach acid and is often recommended as a natural remedy for heartburn and acid reflux. Health.com, 30 foods under 40 calories. Radishes water content, 95.3% These refreshing root vegetables should be a fixture in your spring and summer salads. They provide a burst of spicy sweet flavor and color. In a small package, and more important, they're filled with antioxidants such as catechin, also found in green tea. A crunchy texture also makes radishes a perfect addition to healthy summer coleslaw, with no mayo required. Slice them up with shredded cabbage and carrots, sliced snow peas, and chopped hazelnuts and parsley, and toss with poppy seeds, lemon juice, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Tomatoes water content, 94.5% sliced, and diced tomatoes will always be a mainstay of salads, sauces and sandwiches, but don't forget about sweet cherry and grape varieties, which make an excellent hydrating snack, Gan says. They're great to just pop in your mouth, maybe with some nuts or some low-sodium cheese, she says. You get this great explosion of flavor when you bite into them. Having friends over? Skewer grape tomatoes, basil leaves and small chunks of mozzarella on toothpicks for a quick and easy appetizer. Health.com, 20 snacks that burn fat. Green peppers water content, 93.9% bell peppers of all shades, have a high water content, but green peppers lead the pack, just edging out the red and yellow varieties, which are about 92% water. And contrary to popular belief, green peppers contain just as many antioxidants as their slightly sweeter siblings. Peppers are a great pre-dinner or late-night snack, Gan says. We tell people to munch on veggies when they have a craving, but a lot of people get bored of carrots and celery pretty quickly, she says. Peppers are great to slice up when you get home from work, while you're making or waiting for dinner. Cauliflower water content, 92.1% Don't let cauliflower's pale complexion fool you, in addition to having lots of water, these unassuming florets are packed with vitamins and fight nutrients that have been shown to help lower cholesterol and fight cancer, including breast cancer. A 2012 study of breast cancer patients by Vanderbilt University researchers found that eating cruciferous veggies like cauliflower was associated with a lower risk of dying from the disease or seeing a recurrence. Break them up and add them to a salad for a satisfying crunch, Gan suggests. You can even skip the croutons. Watermelon water content, 91.5% It's fairly obvious that watermelon is full of, well, water, but this juicy melon is also among the richest sources of lycopene, a cancer-fighting antioxidant found in red fruits and vegetables. In fact, watermelon contains more lycopene than raw tomatoes, about 12 mg per wedge, versus 3 mg per medium tomato. Although this melon is plenty hydrating on its own, Gans loves to mix it with water in the summertime. Keep a water pitcher in the fridge with watermelon cubes in the bottom, she says. It's really refreshing and a great incentive to drink more water overall. Spinach water content, 91.4% iceberg lettuce may have a higher water content, but spinach is usually a better bet overall. Piling raw spinach leaves on your sandwich or salad provides nearly as much built-in hydration with an added nutritional punch. Spinach is rich in lutein, potassium, fiber and brain-boosting folate, and just one cup of raw leaves contains 15% of your daily intake of vitamin E, an important antioxidant for fighting off the damaging molecules known as free radicals. Health.com, the 20 best foods for fiber. Star fruit water content, 91.4% This tropical fruit, also known as carambola, comes in sweet and tart varieties and has a juicy texture similar to pineapple. Its eye-catching shape looks great in a fruit salad or as an edible garnish on the rim of a summer cocktail. As a bonus, it's rich in antioxidants, especially epicatechin, a heart-healthy compound also found in red wine, dark chocolate and green tea. One note of caution, people with kidney problems should avoid star fruit because of its high levels of oxalic acid. Strawberries water content, 91.0% All berries are good foods for hydration, but juicy red strawberries are easily the best of the bunch. 
raspberries and blueberries both hover around 85% water, and blackberries are only slightly better at 88.2%. I love strawberries blended in a smoothie or mixed with plain non-fat yogurt, another hydrating food, Yen says. Strawberries add natural sweetness to the yogurt, she adds, and the combo of carbohydrates, fiber and protein make a great post-workout recovery snack. Health.com, 12 Summer Fruit and Veggie Recipes Broccoli water content, 90.7% like its cousin cauliflower, raw broccoli adds a satisfying crunch to a salad. But its nutritional profile, lots of fiber, potassium, vitamin A and vitamin C, is slightly more impressive. What's more, broccoli is the only cruciferous vegetable, a category that contains cabbage and kale, in addition to cauliflower, with a significant amount of sulforaphane, a potent compound that boosts the body's protective enzymes and flushes out cancer-causing chemicals. Grapefruit water content, 90.5% This juicy, tangy citrus fruit can help lower cholesterol and shrink your waistline, research suggests. In one study, People who ate one grapefruit a day lowered their bad, LDL, cholesterol by 15.5%, and their triglycerides by 27%. In another, eating half a grapefruit, roughly 40 calories, before each meal helped eaters lose about 3 one half pounds over 12 weeks. Researchers say compounds in the fruit help fuel fat burn and stabilize blood sugar, therefore helping to reduce cravings. Baby carrots water content, 90.4% a carrots a carrot, right? Not when it comes to water content. As it turns out, the baby-sized carrots that have become a staple in supermarkets and lunchboxes contain more water than full-size carrots, which are merely 88.3% water. The ready-to-eat convenience factor is hard to top, as well. Snack on them right out of the bag, dip them in hummus or guacamole, or, for a bit of added crunch in bright orange color, chop them up and add them to salads or salsas. Cantaloupe water content, 90.2% This succulent melon provides a big nutritional payoff for very few calories. One 6-ounce serving, about one quarter of a melon, contains just 50 calories, but delivers a full 100% of your recommended daily intake of vitamin A. I love cantaloupe as a dessert, Yan says. If you've got a sweet tooth, it will definitely satisfy. Tired of plain old raw fruit? Blend cantaloupe with yogurt and freeze it into sherbet or puree it with orange juice and mint to make a refreshing soup. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.